okay so today we will understand the lung volumes basically lung volume concept is very necessary whenever we are understanding spirometry or uh, ventilator or any other um, uh, investigation which is dealing with the lungs so we have read it many times but we will see it once more one more time so that we can understand in an easy manner so there is certain amount of volume which is we are taking in each breath whether we are uh, inhaling or exhaling so the amount of breath which moves in and out of your lung during a simple breath is known as tidal volume so suppose this is a graph so this amount of air is moving in and out of the this is the amount which you have taken uh, means either in inspiration or expiration this is the inspiratory thing and this is the expiratory thing so it is somewhere around 500 ml means i am inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling so this amount of air which is moving in and out of the lung either in inspiration or expiration is your know, tidal volume now when i inhale and now i will ask you to inhale with the maximum force which you can and the amount of air which you can inhale so this is i'm inhaling and i take a deep breath and the maximum amount of air which i can inhale is my inspiratory result volume now i have inhaled this one so this is your inspiratory result volume means above this this much amount of air i can inhale after taking an inspiration and this is my inspiratory result volume correct now this this was your expiratory uh, this was your tidal volume now i'll exhale now in spirometry when they uh, tell you that exhale with a full force so the amount of air which you can which i can exhale with force force is my expiratory reserve volume correct so let me show the graph okay so we'll we'll make a different graph this is expiratory reserve volume this is your tidal volume this is your inspiratory reserve volume now even after exhaling there remains a certain amount of air inside your lung which you cannot exhale outside so this is called residual volume so by this all four volume all four volumes we can deduct all other lung volumes which are there so this is your tidal volume this is your inspiratory reserve volume which you can inhale after an inspiration this is your expiratory reserve volume which you can exhale after a simple expiration with full force and the amount of air which is remaining there inside your lung even after a full expiration is your residual volume so inspiratory reserve volume plus means if i draw like this this is your inspiratory reserve volume this is your tidal volume this is your expiratory reserve volume just uh, ignore the graph this is your residual volume so if i combine inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume this is my inspiratory lung capacity this is the total inspiration capacity of my uh, lung if i combine expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume is functional residual capacity this is my functional residual capacity this term will be very much used in ventilation in copd is asthma then we will talk about this process in increasing the functional residual capacity or decreasing the functional residual capacity now if i combine inspiratory lung volume tidal volume and expiratory lung volume this is my hmm what you will see make a guess if i combine your tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume and expiratory reserve volume is this is this is the amount of air which is maximum moving inside and outside your lung so it is rightly said is vital capacity and if i combine all these four inspiratory reserve volume tidal volume expiratory reserve volume and residual volume this is your total lung capacity in a normal patient is 6 liter this total lung capacity is 6 liter means if we combined all this tidal volume is 
500 ml. This is 500 ml. Inspiratory reserve volume is somewhere around 2500 ml. Inspiratory, expiratory reserve volume is somewhere around, I think it was 1500. So 1500 plus uh, 500, 2, 2 plus uh, 2500. So, so 1500 is your residual volume. So by this, you can calculate all the, the functional residual capacity is 3 liter. Then uh, combining all total inspiratory capacity is 3 liter. Vital capacity is 4,500 ml. So this is the way you should remember that we need to concentrate only on four volumes. One is tidal volume, the amount of air which is moving in and out with each breath, either inspiratory or expiratory. The amount which you can inspire with full force even after a normal inspiration is inspiratory residual volume. Combining both these two is your inspiratory lung capacity. Now the amount of air which you can exhale with a forceful expiration is your expiratory reserve volume the amount which remain up even after this is residual capacity combining these two is your functional residual capacity the, this will be three liter now if we combine the amount of air which has moved inside or outside the lung with forceful inspiration and forceful exhalation inspiratory reserve volume plus tv plus expiratory reserve volume this is your vital capacity this is taking part in respiration uh, residual volume don't take part in the respiration and you combine the capacity of both so Combining all these four is your total lung capacity. This way, you need to remember these things. Only concentrate on these four part: inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume, expiratory reserve volume, and residual volume. By uh, cal uh, if you know this, you can deduct any volume. Understood? Thank you.